In this video, we will roll a six-phase die and we'll ask a couple of probability related questions. Okay. So from the previous videos, we know that the exact probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided with the total number of outcomes. We know for simple problems, we can compute the exact or expected probability. But in this course, we are doing Monte Carlo simulations and we are doing some trials. Uh, these are called simulations or computational experiments. After doing the experiments, we are counting how many trials have led to favorable outcomes and we divide that with the total number of trials we have conducted and that will give us the observed probability. So in situations where computing the exact probability is difficult, we can perform the simulations and we can compute the probabilities okay all right so this is all the standard stuff now let's say we start with the question when we roll a six phase uh, unbiased die dice meaning all sides are equally probable what is the probability that the number is greater than four okay so the possible outcomes are six uh, let's say that the dice is faced with these numbers one to six now the favorable outcomes uh, there are two five and six so the expected or exact probability is uh, the length of the favorable outcomes divided with the length of the total possible outcomes so which is one over three or 0 0.33 okay now here we have a helper function uh, we are going to roll the die multiple times and we pass the outcome uh, to this function and this simply count how many values are above 4, which is what we are looking for, right? So it will simply count the number of favorable outcomes and return that value. Now, if we are asking what is the probability uh, that the number uh, is an even number, you can simply change the definition of the favorable outcomes. For example, here you uh, divide with 2 and if the uh, remainder uh, is 0, then that would be a even uh, outcomes okay even numbers all right so let's start with uh, just one trial so here we are rolling the dice only once and uh, as we have seen in the previous videos we are using this random choice function uh, to which we are passing all the possible outcomes and then we are sampling from this uh, using this uh, number of trials so for example when we pass uh, this list and if k is equal to 1, uh, one of this number is picked up uh, with uh, equal probability for all 6. Okay, Then we can say, okay, I want to roll the dice twice, meaning k is equal to 2. In that case, what we get is we get two numbers. Okay, So these two trials are independent of uh, from one another. All right. So we roll the dice only once, which means we will get only one outcome. So let's say we, in this case, we got the number three. So then we are measuring the number of favorable outcomes, uh, which is zero, because our favorable outcome is any number above four, right? But we have got three. So the number of favorable outcomes is zero. This means uh, the observed probability uh, is also zero. But we know this is not correct, right? I mean, when we roll a dice, uh, surely we will get a number uh, greater than 4 because it has 5 and 6 as well, right? Um, but because here we have conducted the experiment only once and we did, uh, we got uh, number 3. So let's roll the dice uh, one more time. Uh, I think I just repeated this. But let's say we are rolling the dice twice. So this function, it return a list uh, with two values right so when we roll the dice first time we got four and when we roll the dice second time we got number five okay so the number of favorable outcomes is one uh, because five uh, and then the uh, observed probability uh, is one over two that's 0 0.5 now if we repeat the experiment three times in this case it happened that uh, we got all three numbers uh, below four so again, the probability is, uh, uh, comes out to be zero. So as you see, when we, when we, when we compute the probability, uh, 
uh, using simulations or experiments we need to repeat the experiment many number of times so that uh, we sample uh, enough or all uh, possible outcomes then only we can compute the probability accurately okay uh, just one more uh, one more trial uh, before we do the uh, trials many number of times so here we are rolling the dice four times and uh, we happen to get two four two and six right so the favorable outcomes only one which is this six so the probability is one divided with the total trials which is four so we got it uh, 0 0.25 but let's do the actual simulation which is uh, we repeat the experiment many number of times right so uh, it's okay so let's say we want to roll the dice a maximum of 100 times okay so here we have defined this observed probability list because for e each time so for in first experiment we roll the dice once and we compute the probability and in the second experiment we are going to roll the dice twice and we again compute the probability so that way we are doing 100 experiments so in the 100th experiment we roll the dice 100 times and we count how many favorable outcomes are there and we divide that with the num maximum trials which is 100 uh, that way we compute the probability with increasing the number of trials right so here we are just conducting the experiments from just one to maximum number of trials and then using the random choice function uh, we are mimicking uh, the rolling of dice and this will return as the outcomes and the outcomes we are passing it to this count favorable outcomes function and then the observed probability would be the favorable outcomes divided with the number of trials right so this observed probability is for this particular number of trials and then uh, we store it in a list right and then here we are printing for example in experiment one we roll the dice only once the favorable outcomes just happen to be zero in this case so the probability turns out to be zero but as we increase the number of experiment the probability slowly converge to the expected uh, probability which is uh, which is one over third in our case right which is one over third because we have two favorable outcomes out of six possible total outcomes okay so as we increase the number of experiments you see the number slowly uh, start to converge to one over third okay now if we plot the observed probability with the number of trials uh, this is how it looks like so as you can see at the very be beginning it fluctuate quite a lot and this red horizontal line that's the expected probability which is uh, one over third now with increasing the number of trials as you can see this start to converge slowly to the expected probability okay so here we did maximum 1000 trials and here we did maximum 10000 trials as you can see here we still see some small fluctuations but the probability has converged to uh, uh, the expected uh, or the theoretical probability okay uh, that's all for today thank you